is with them being fully painted front caps, all of that, you know, dirt, bugs, debris, soot and stuff like that will clean off because you've got seven layers of protection um, from primer to paint to clear coat. So we do this in-house, so we paint all of our front caps in-house um, across the complex. That allows us to control the cost um, as well as maintaining the quality within the front cap. The hitch vision, so this is gonna be a Keystone exclusive feature. Um, it's got a patent number on it. This basically just allows the customer to line up the fifth wheel in the bed of their truck with the hitch. So they can look in their rear view mirror and line it up with the center of this to hook up or they can look through the back of their cab and then it'll, it'll line up there too. Making it a lot easier versus having one person in the vehicle, one person outside of the truck. And then they're, you know, they're, hey, go left, no, go right, back it up, you're close, you're in, you're off. Um, this makes it a lot easier. We are the only fifth wheel in the industry that offers something like this. So nobody else can do it. So that's another added benefit to you guys being able to have this product on the lot is if you're selling against General over there or a Camping World or campers in or, or what have you um, if you're going up against a non keystone fifth wheel toy hauler you've got them beat right there you're going to have them beat with the full fully painted front cap that's covered under that three-year warranty for any kind of chalking fading or peeling then your led lights are specifically engineered to shine down on the bed of the truck so if you're looking at us versus any other fifth wheel um, you'll notice that their led lights are going to be somewhere in the concave here or here um, depending on how their their molded front cap is and those lights are going to shine out versus down so now what you'll have that other people don't is you'll have this which is going to give you visualization and these lights are going to give you illumination if it's dark so that's a super easy thing to pitch to a retail customer because if you're you know hey folks if you're going to go with that momentum you're going to go with uh that fusion even if you're going to go with a road warrior a cyclone seismic or something like that and you're backing up to this and it's dark how are you gonna see? And then how are you gonna be able to see? Yeah. The Rotaflex pin box um, has two features in it. So obviously you've got the flex point here and then the one inch piece of rubber that's gonna absorb all the shock and the vibrations. So if you think of your trailer, um, if, you throw, if you were to throw a rock in the water, you get that ripple effect. Um, this is gonna eliminate that negative energy or that ripple effect of vibrations going through the rest of the coach. So by having something here that's gonna that's gonna flex, it's gonna remove that undue stress off your pin box. All of your vibrations are gonna be absorbed there. So cabinet doors are gonna close, um, your entry doors are gonna close, um, window seals are gonna stay intact for longer. So again, by having this and something like this, you're gonna extend the life of the camper uh, long term, which is gonna be nice for those customers that wanna keep these units for a lot longer. Uh, 5,500 watt Cummins Zone and generator, two 30 pound LP tanks, six point uh, hydraulic auto level is gonna be on both Raptor and Carbon. Um, once you get into the Carbon, um, some of the differences you'll have between a Raptor and a Carbon is you'll have two awnings on Raptor, a single awning on Carbon, frameless windows on Raptor, uh, framed windows on Carbon. The white sidewall is gonna be brand new. Um, but you'll have the high gel coat fiberglass on Raptor and then the Phylon on Carbon, which means basically when you look at a Carbon, you'll be able to see the fiberglass, um, the fibers in the fiberglass. Uh, oh, that's locked. Um, within this, you can open up your in-command and then you can show them the color-coded numerical coded wiring. So that's going to be another feature. It's going to be Keystone exclusive. No one else is, is offering something like that in the industry. So by being able to have that, you can show that to the customers. You pop that uh, cover plate off. All of the wiring is going to be neatly, and it's going to be neatly tucked in, but it's also going to be color coded, and there will be numbers on every single wire. Which, when this thing goes into service, you're going to be able to diagnose and troubleshoot those electrical issues a lot faster than you would with any other manufacturer. Um, so on our system, obviously your techs, if they've worked on one, they've worked on, on all Raptors, same with carbon. However, when you're going up against another product line or another manufacturer, uh, when your service tech calls customer service, the person on the other end of that line doesn't work in the plant, so they don't know when they changed out the wire spools and they don't have labels on anything. So it's just, hey, one could have, you know, you could look inside it and it could be like, red, yellow, blue. And then you can look at the unit, 
on your lot next door in the service center, and it could be orange, purple, gray. Uh, so once they're pulling those off and they're putting a new one on, if they're out of that color, they're just going to plug in another color. They're not going to stop production um, to add that in there. So that's going to be a benefit to you guys. Uh, the friction door hinge. So the nice thing about this is the features that this have or that this has is, or what's nice about this is it's what it doesn't have that's going to be the selling feature. So the first thing it doesn't have is it doesn't have the gas strut that only allows you to open up the door to here that gas strut over time is gonna go out. Mm -hmm. um, or people, when the stairs are out, they're gonna wanna grab the door first before they grab the handle because it's the furthest thing that sticks out. So then when they're leaning on it over time, um, that gas strut will either give out, fail, or break. The other thing it doesn't have is we don't have that ridiculous plastic latch that holds the door shut here. Mm -hmm. um, and so you'll see that plastic latch on like the Grand Design Momentums. You'll see the gas strut on um, the Heartland products. So those things are going to give you some separation to be able to pitch. So now you don't have to worry about either one of those breaking, and then you don't have to worry about the danger of having a free swinging door. And then on top of that, you've got your Moride step above step, which obviously you can see um, the light weight of this is going to create um, no opportunities for injury. And then you don't have to worry about anything getting damaged in your door frame or your door jams. Um, so the heavier steps, Obviously, when you fold those in, they've got a latch here. Sometimes, because the weight of the step as it's going down the road will shake and bounce, um, it'll goober that, that uh, handle up. And then there have been times where customers have opened the door and it, and it unlatches and then the steps fall down. So this is a nice way to be able to still have the solid step, still maintain that structural integrity, uh, but now you don't have to worry about it being so heavy. And then you can just lift it up and down and obviously you can see it's not going to fall on anyone or injure anybody. The main entry door, 72 inches tall. It's the tallest main entry door in the industry. So everybody else is gonna be six inches shorter, um, which if you get those taller customers, you can point that out. Uh, and that's where they'll be excited to know that, hey, we don't have to worry about hitting our heads when we walk inside. Uh, so to one of the new features here. So uh, we introduced this Moride CRE 3000 suspension system. And this is gonna be very much the same in the fact that you still have the rubberized suspension which is going to give you the play back and forth also up and down but it's also going to absorb those vibrations so now there again you don't have to worry about that ripple effect going through your i-beam up into the wall and shaking things loose like your windows your speakers your sidewall things like that you don't want those things coming loose so that's going to absorb it additionally you've got greased wet bolts so within here all of your bolts are going to be greased they're going to be Zerk greased and customers will only need to re-grease those about once a year and they can get any any kind of Zerk grease that they want um, to squirt into that. But there's two extra features that we use on this that a lot of manufacturers don't. One being the shackle itself is going to be twice as thick as the competitors. So most of them will be a quarter inch thick. This is going to be a half inch thick. And then we also use bronzed bushings versus plastic bushings. So now having the greased wet bolts, now you don't have metal on metal friction. The grease is helping it, um, you know, it's, it's smoother as it's riding through there. You're getting a smoother ride. Um, you're cutting down the heat, the heat transfer that you would get with metal on metal. And then by having a bronze bushing versus a plastic one, you don't have to worry about that bushing failing um, and melting because it's going to get so hot. And then having a thicker shackle is going to be able to last a lot longer out in the field. Um, so that was the reason we went to that. And then as always on your tires, you're going to have G-rated Saloon tires, 14 ply. Uh, and they're going to have a five-year warranty with 12 months, no questions asked. 7,000 pound axles, 16 inch rims. And then the brakes are going to be Dexter never adjust brakes. So internally, the customers don't have to go in and adjust those braking systems. Um, which is, is a small thing, but it's also a big deal. Um, if they're just a, a typical 12 volt drum brake, um, when the customer hooks up their brake controller, the brake controller and this may not be working together. They could be working against each other. So if the customer is driving uphill or downhill, these are gonna adjust automatically and the customer is not gonna have to take that off and adjust those brakes. Most customers don't even know that they have to do it. 
So that's something that can almost get lost. You just pitch, oh, it's got never adjust brakes, or you never talk about it. Um, you could be missing an opportunity uh, to win, you know, to win a customer's confidence in, you know, explaining that a little bit. So uh, if you're in as you're qualifying customers, finding out where they're taking it, what they're doing, um, then you can kind of maybe pitch out a little bit more or just planting that seed uh, in their head if they're in that shopping mode of, hey, if, if you are going to go over there, if you are going to go over here and talk to those people, make sure you ask about that. Make sure you find out what kind of brakes are on it. This is a huge trailer. You know, you've got 19,000 pounds fully loaded, um, triple axle, 44 foot. Make sure that you've got a good braking system. Make sure your suspension system, does it have the wet bolts? Ask those questions uh, because then when they get to the dealership, that salesperson can't answer those questions. They're gonna feel like, hey, you know what? That, that guy's taking care of us. We're mm -hmm. we're gonna go. We're gonna go give him our business. Um, on carbon, you'll have a trailer king tire. It'll be an F-rated 12 ply with a four-year warranty with 12 months, no questions asked. Um, and then all the information is gonna actually be on the tire. So if you ever wanted to find out, you can see LRG load range G, 14 ply rating. There's your weight limit. And then you'll also have what you need to fill it to with your PSI. Coming around to the back. So the Moride Zero Gravity Ramp Door will work the same as those steps. So you can actually pull this door down and you don't have to worry about the weight of it, walking it down. Um, it'll, it'll come down slowly. You can lift it up, you can close it slowly. And backup camera is standard. So that's gonna be something that you can pitch um, that all of the manufacturers are just doing a prep on in this price point. So again, Raptor is going to be more full featured and for the most part at a super competitive price, if not cheaper than most of the big fifth wheel toy haulers out there. Um, Carbon will have just a spring assisted ramp door, so it'll be a little bit of a heavier door. Uh, but again, we want to create some price point separation between the two. Ladders are going to come standard. There's a 300 pound weight limit on there. 50 amp service across the board, Raptor and Carbon. Uh, fuel station on Raptor, you'll have two 30 gallon tanks. Carbon will have a single 30, and then one's going to go to the generator and one's going to be for your auxiliary with the fuel pump and the nozzle. Uh, coming down here. So, furnace exhaust, and then this is going to be that Girard system on demand water heater. So, it is a propane. Um, I guess that's that's the power source is going to be propane versus the gas electric uh, 42,000 BTUs again the main benefit to this is hey customers you can now take a shower for as long as you want mm -hmm. so it, it's one of those scenarios where hey if you're hooked up to water just go take a shower you know no more having to take quick showers and and you know be cognizant of of how long you're taking a shower and so perfect pitch is going to be for that wife you go through, you pitch the things to the husband, and then, hey, you can take showers as long as you want. It's an on-demand water heater. Um, very similar to, you know, hey, what you got in your house. Convenience center. Uh, within that convenience center, you're gonna have hot and cold water. Um, you have all your valves for your winterization, fresh water tank, tank fills. And then you'll also have the uh, battery disconnect, the key TV, low, low point drains for the water heater, and then your pull valves for the upper bed deck master. And then this is gonna be your battery compartment and your auto level storage container. And then let's go see if we can get inside. So in the garage, this is a place where this is your bread and butter. This is your home run hitter for 
any customer that's got toys. Um, if again, if in your qualifying process, they're just pulling, you know, um, kayaks and bikes and things like that, that's fine. You can still pitch this, but you get the customer that's got a motorcycle, side by side, UTV, um, you know, uh, four wheeler, anything across that big toy spectrum. So the first thing that we do and what is going to make us an, a legitimate toy hauler is what we do in the garage. So our floor is all one piece and it's a one inch thick Keystone Dynaspan flooring system. It comes with a 25 year warranty. It's a marine grade treated plywood and we only use one sheet. So we don't use four by eight sheets. We don't use tongue and groove or anything like that. That allows us to be able to distribute the weight more evenly. And then we don't have to worry about seams that are going to come apart if somebody doesn't you know, do their job correctly. Um, that's a huge benefit. Um, but by doing that and using the thicker floor, we can hit that 3,000 pound max capacity or everyone else is going to be using a 5.8 thick floor. Um, now we'll use 5.8 thick in the main level in the upper bed deck, but again, it's all one piece. So from here all the way to the front of the camper, uh, in the past through it's all one piece of plywood so it's a little bit more expensive but again you're getting that one piece that's going to distribute the weight better you don't have to worry about seams and separation and then again think about it you get a, uh, a unit like this where you've got a u-shaped kitchen where you're getting weight from that and then you get a seam and a separation as this thing's driving up and down the road that's where you're going to get separation in the floor um, and then our tie downs are exclusive to, to Raptor, uh, but more importantly, they're welded directly to the frame. So everybody else in the industry, whether it's Momentum, Cyclone, Road Warrior, Seismic, Vengeance, um, KZ Venom, anything along those lines, Camping World's exclusive fuel product line and things like that, Voltage, they're all gonna use a D-ring. That D-ring will vary in its weight limit from 1,500 pounds to 5,000 pounds. However, that weight rating on a D-ring only applies to the housing that the ring is attached to. It has nothing to do with how they fasten it to the floor. And there's three different ways that they fasten those to the floor. They'll either screw them directly into the wood, um, they'll bolt them down and then put a metal seal plate on the bottom to give it a little bit more reinforcement, or they'll drill through and then they'll hit one of the cross members that runs in between your I-beams. The problem with that is that those bolts or screws are not rated for 5,000 pounds. So now as they're you know strapping something down, they're wanting to torque it down as, as hard as they can because they wanna make sure that their toy is safe when they're driving. Uh, and then that weight as it's bouncing and going up and down the road is now being pulled on those bolts and screws versus that actual D-ring. The other problem with that is in every toy hauler per RVDA code, the garage, the the main portion of the garage cannot be covered by the underbelly because you have the fuel station. And so now those bolts are gonna be exposed to the elements on the underside of this carriage. And so as that's leaving you know, Indiana, you're gonna have salt, mm -hmm. um, you're gonna have moisture. Out here, you're gonna have the salt water coming off of um, the ocean that'll corrode and decay and over time, will cut down on the, stru or the, the strength and the structural integrity of those bolts, and then that's where you get failing. Um, with these, we haven't had a fail. I've had one of these come apart yet. Um, and this is gonna be something that's welded directly to the frame from Lipper. So our guys and our technicians don't do anything. They just route out a hole, they put the floor down, and then this is just a cover. So this, this uh, tie down here is welded directly to that frame and is rated for 5,000 pounds. So that is a clear cut, no one can touch us. Everyone else is basically having a fifth wheel with some sort of garage on the back, but this is an actual true toy hauler and this is what sets us apart. So this is a big deal. This is something you guys will wanna hammer home every time you have a customer with you on, hey, what are you pulling? Oh, you're pulling a, you know, a $50,000 Harley, or you've got a trike, or you've got a $25,000 Polaris side-by-side. -side. Don't you wanna make sure that that thing's not going anywhere? You know, or hey, how long are you planning on keeping your unit? You know, when you purchased it, you know, was that a unit that was delivered during the winter months and then sat in the dealership for three, four, five, six, seven months and was the undercarriage was never cleaned of that salt there? And, and those are the things 
that again are going to allow you to kind of build that customer's confidence and they can get up under there like you can look up under there right now um and you know you're going to see all the frame is going to be exposed because again we can't wrap that underbelly under there and so if you get up under even one of these wolf packs you'll be able to see how those tie downs are put in mm -hmm. um so we're coming back in here 423 this is our number one selling floor plan um, some of the benefits again you've got the seating arrangement that gives you cross conversational um, great viewing of the tv fireplace led lit countertops you can see this when it's hooked up four door refrigerators stainless steel appliances all of our cabinet doors are not only solid wood uh, but they're all soft close and that's going to be in every floor plan in every room so we don't cut any corners whether it's rafter or carbon 30 inch convection stainless steel microwave furion oven and then storage drawer down below slate backsplash um, storage around the entire entertainment system and then this is going to be the controller for the gerard products on demand water heater in command so this is going to be the tablet on the inside um, then you can Bluetooth this to your smartphone. Um, these are going to be the ther basically the thermostats. This is what's going to read the temperature for this room. So you'll see one of these in every room. Every unit's going to be powered and prepped for solar on the roof. And then every unit is going to be wired and prepped for 4G LTE Wi-Fi. Coming in the bathroom, you've got a porcelain foot flush toilet. You've got storage here for all of your toiletries storage above the toilet. You've got storage below and above the vanity, stainless steel sink, um, single one piece fiberglass shower surround. So that's important because it's not gonna be plastic. It's not gonna be a two or a three piece. And then we use metal faucets, uh, not the cheap plastic RV ones. So that's a, that's a big benefit, especially at this price point. Uh, coming into the bedroom, uh, you'll notice the wireless phone chargers. So that's going to be a new upgraded feature that you'll see on these new white sidewalls. And then um, wardrobe storage, you've got his and hers or hers and his. And then you'll have the cool barn style um, that's going to give you the second entrance into the bathroom. So one from the hall and then one from the actual bedroom. And then that's, that's about it, guys. Um, 